We've been creating a VR birthday card for my niece. That's what we have so far. I think it looks pretty cool. We've got some good lighting, fun little models, nice birthday cake. Problem is, it's supposed to be VR. It's supposed to be immersive, and yet I can't actually navigate around the scene to go take a look at things. So let's fix that. Navigation in VR is tricky, but we could do something like a first-person shooter like Doom where you just use the arrow keys to move forward and back and turn left and right. Turns out if you try to do that, first, if you're in VR, you may not be able to see the keyboard. And even if you could, the acceleration as you speed up and slow down will make people very sick. What we often do in VR, instead of trying to move the camera, since the camera is fundamentally controlled by the player's head, instead, we will use teleportation. So that means you click on the area that you want to go to, and then you jump right to it. The jumping won't make people sick, whereas speeding up and slowing down to get there will. So let's build a simple teleportation system. First thing we're going to need is some place to teleport to. So let's go in our code to init content, and at the bottom of init content, let's add a target. Target 1 equals new. We want this to be a Let's just use simple spheres for now. So it's going to be a mesh with some sphere geometry. And we'll make it, uh, let's make it about a half a meter wide. So 0 0.3 is the radius. And we'll just make it something bright like red that we can see. Now let's position it a little bit in front of us. And again, uh, we'll put it at head height which is 1.5 meters. Now let's flip back and see what our scene looks like. We've got a red sphere. It's definitely too big and too close, so let's make it a little smaller. And put it further back than you can see. There we go. That looks better. Of course, we're going to need a couple of these. So instead of creating, putting these all straight in the scene, we're going to add an array of targets. So here's our second target. Let's put this over on the left. Let's say negative four. Get closer to us. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll add one more on the right. And then one more right where we are. In fact. So now I've created four targets. There's one in the middle, one to each side, and then one that's actually right where we are at the camera, which I can't see. But once I get over there, I might want to go back to where I started. So these are all of the points within the scene that we can navigate to. Now let's make it so we can actually navigate to those. Let's add all of these to a target object, targets array. Now, for each target, we're going to add it to the scene. We're also going to add an event handler. So on target, that's clicked. We're just going to print that it's been clicked. And the event has a target object on it, so we know which thing has been clicked on. And the last thing we need to do is make each target be clickable. Now the pointer object can click on anything we want. We just need to give it some indication of what things should be clickable. It's called the intersection filter. What I commonly do, since every 3JS object has an extra place called user data, I just add a Boolean clickable. And if clickable is true, then I know that it can be clicked and will receive events. So target.userData. Now, whenever I click on one of these things, I can see in the console it says clicked and gives me all the information about that object. So now what we'd like to do is actually move the camera over there. There's a problem. We could try to move the camera, but it'll immediately be put back to the origin. And that's because the camera really isn't ours to control. The camera is attached to the player's head. 
if they move their head, the camera object is going to change. If they are in a six degree of freedom headset where they can actually move forward and back, the camera will change. We can't mess with the camera. That's the number one rule in VR. Don't mess with the user camera because that's their head. Instead, what we can do is move the entire world around us. So far, we've been adding everything to the scene object. This is something that 3GS creates that everything else is inside of. So what we're going to do, instead of adding directly to the scene, is we'll create a new object called the stage. Stage equals new 3 dot group. And now, instead of adding to the scene, we'll add to the stage. Everywhere we call scene dot add, we'll call stage dot add. Including even the lights, all of our targets, we will add. And of course, the environment itself, which was that big GLTF file, we will add to the stage. And then we add the stage itself to the scene. If we did that correctly, nothing will look different. But we have an extra level of indirection, so now we can start manipulating the stage. Great, everything looks the same. So now, whenever we click, we find out where the thing is that we clicked on with e.target. We can get its position and use that to move the stage. Now, of course, we're moving towards the stage, but since we can't move the camera, really we're moving the stage towards us. So whatever direction we would have gone, we want to do the opposite to the stage. So what we want to do is copy the position of the target to the stage, but the opposite version. So stage.position.x is negative e.target.position.x. We don't want to mess with the height, so we'll leave y alone. We'll do the same for z. Now when I click on the sphere, I will go right to it. Now that I'm looking at this, I can see, hmm, perhaps I should move the target to be a little bit closer to the cake. Again, you'll find that when you develop VR scenes, you get all the basics in place, and then you spend most of your time tweaking to get the perfect experience. There we go. Now I can walk right to the cake. So what we've done is create a teleportation system. This means there are specific points within the overall VR scene that the user can go to by clicking on them and then they're immediately teleported to it. So first I had to think what are the places the user would want to go to or that I want to let them go to. If this was a game, maybe there are certain places they shouldn't be able to go to. Put targets in those places. A target is something that you can click on to teleport you to that spot. So I'm just using a red sphere and a fancier version that might be like a glowing diamond or something related to the experience of then I have to move the camera, except in VR we never move the camera. So instead we put everything of the scene inside of another object called stage and move the stage in the opposite direction. So instead of moving the camera to the mountain, we've moved the mountain to the camera. Now when I click on it, I go right to the mountain and to the cake. So now I can navigate around the scene in 2D or in VR. The next thing we want is to actually say happy birthday in this scene. To do that, we're going to need some text. So next time we'll add text, happy birthday, and make it look really cool and shiny. 